Right, let's get our number brains switched on this morning. Let's see if we can, nice and easy, count up to 20. Off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty! Excellent. Right now, this time, twenty all the way down to zero. Are you ready? Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, Counting. Well done. Now today we have got two different types of challenges which we might like to do depending on what is in our pack. Now today we might be practicing our takeaways. We did a little bit of this before the half term holiday and I'm going to show you how you can do it today with some of our characters from what the ladybird heard. Underneath our pictures we have got our number sentences. So remember, the number sentence here is just telling you what this is all about. So this one, let's read it together, is six. Do you remember that means take away? Six, take away, three equals, that means it's going to say how many are left. So from our story, we can imagine we have got six ladybirds. And look, just like that, there are six along the top. We're going to take away three of them. How could I do that on there? Because I can't actually take the ladybirds off the piece of paper, can I? I could find some ladybirds, have six of them and take three away. But I don't really think I want to find six ladybirds and take them from their houses. So I could use Cheerios from my house. I could use pens or pencils. Or I could use my six there. And I could take three away like this. One, two, three. And how many are left without the crosses on? One. So six, take away three, equals the three that were left. And maybe you might like to see if you can do that with the dogs. There are eight dogs there. You're going to take away two of them and say how many are left? Five pigs. Take away one, two, three of them. How many are left? So you might want to practice your takeaways today on our challenge. Or you might have a ladybird inside your pack and some dice and your grown-up might like to see if they can make the dice today you might want to make one with the numbers written on it here's some I found at school and you might want to make the one that's got the dots on for counting and you can roll your dice see what number you end up on so I've got a number two on mine and I will see if I can put that many spots on my ladybird maybe I might want to have a go at trying to write that number myself or if I use this dice here, I could give it a roll, give it a shake, roll my dice. Do you know that number? Five. And then I will see if I can stick five spots on my ladybird. One, two, three, four. One more. Five. So have a look. What is your maths challenge going to be today? Are you going to practice your takeaways? Or are you going to make your own dice and roll your dice and pop that many spots on your lady bird? Whichever one you choose to do, I hope you have a great time and you get those maths brains going today. See you later.